In the meantime, let's bring in our political editor, Andrew Clonell, and go through what we've missed. In fact, Andrew, you've noticed as well one conversation, a tapped conversation, which was not played, but you have got the transcript of it. Talk us through that and does it shed any further light? Yes, well, I think it's relevant because right now on the evidence when we resume, uh, and certainly where we left off, it was around Daryl Maguire and Gladys Berejiklian's relationship and these plans that Gladys Berejiklian has confirmed, but she didn't know if Daryl Maguire was truthful, that should he retire from Parliament in 2019, they would end up a couple. And in that instance, he was really trying to clear this $1.5 million debt, partly from separating with his wife, and because he was only going to receive a half pension. And it's in this context that he's constantly talking to her about these business deals he's doing on the side as an MP, which we know he shouldn't have been doing. The ICAC's accusing him of breach of pecuniary interest, if not corruption, in relation to them. So let's have a look at a couple of these conversations. This is one which was mentioned and then they went in camera, but some of it's been tendered. It's Exhibit 333. It's from the Valentine's Day... Uh, 2018, and Maguire says to the Premier, I've got a meeting tomorrow morning with Joe and those guys. Try and tie that up. I'm working bloody hard because something Garden has effing fallen through. And Jimmy's, we got his over the line. That's good. I can't not go to nothing. I have to go to something. There is no future doing things for New South Wales government. And then it's all blacked out. I guess um, um, affectionate message, uh, speaking between the two. And then Gladys Berejiklian says, Hockis, this is the term of endearment. I understand, but this is the other thing I'm thinking right. I need you to process in your head what you want to do right, but I also need to come to the realisation that it's not got anything to do with me. He says, correct, correct. He says, absolutely nothing. But that's a bigger picture, bigger issue that I need to figure out. And he says, I just, I just got to sort out, you know, with these kids and stuff, What's going to happen? That's all I'm worried about. So they seem to be talking about a future together. After they've spoken on the phone taps about the Badgerys Creek land deal, he's landing and he thought he landed it. Sound like he didn't. $330 million deal, we heard in evidence. $1.5 million he was to receive, or thereabouts, he's admitted again today. And so here we have this other message. This is 334. It's a short conversation from the 5th of March 2018. And Maguire says... Uh, anyway, I'll tell you tonight, Jimmy's, Jimmy's made me an offer and she says, the Premier, right, well, you stay away, you stay away, please. Which is a similar tone, I guess, to I don't need to know that, which emerges in other conversations. I've got to say, as I'm reading this stuff out, I still can hardly believe this stuff, Kieran. Now, look, um, we're going to play you some of the evidence. We're going to take you through this morning's evidence now because there's some pretty dramatic stuff. You saw quite a lot of it there, but... There's a lot of other stuff. One of them involves, uh, we heard yesterday this meeting between uh, Maguire, a developer, a friend of his, Joseph Fala, and, and brought him into Parliament to meet the Planning Minister, then, then Planning Minister's Chief of Staff, and then he takes him upstairs uh, to drop in on the Premier. Have a listen to the testimony on that. Back to the drop in with mm -hmm. the Premier. You're present, Mr Alhar's present, and the Premier's present, correct? Yes. Anyone else present? Not that I recall. And what was discussed during the course of that <coughs> drop-in? Oh, it was greetings, niceties. Um, my recollection, it was less than two minutes that we were there to say hello. Um, Premier was working at a desk. That's my recollection, and we were gone. Was there any discussion of any matters relating to planning? No. Was there, whether that be in a general policy sense or no. in a site-specific sense? No, it, it was... It was general niceties. That is my best recollection. Good.